and welcome back to our channel if you're new here my name is Lacey and I am a sixth grade language arts teacher and it's the second week of school I couldn't really film much last week because the first week is always super chaotic but I am gonna do a day in the life today again it's the second week of school so there is still like some paperwork and some of that um, extra stuff that we have to do at the start of the year um, the kids are testing because I work at a magnet school and that's what we do at first to kind of see where they're at so I wanted to show you a kind of busier day in my life because the start of the year, you kind of have more tasks. It's not just a matter of planning and teaching and grading, which is already a lot. You also have to do, like I said, paperwork and other stuff like that. So that is what I will show you today, show you what a typical day at the start of the school year looks like. I'm doing my makeup, as you can see, and then I will show you my outfit and then take you to school with me. I've been getting to school at 7.30 this year. This is only day seven of school, but I'm gonna keep up that habit. Last year, I would get to work at like 7 a.m. and that's like 45 minutes earlier than I really need to be there. The kids don't come till 7.45, so I already feel a lot better. My mental health is better because last year I was very stressed out. I was very, very stressed out due to getting to work so early, staying so late, so this year, I'm gonna show you today that I am much more stress-free because last year I was very burnt out really early on. So I'm definitely doing things differently this year. All the things that I struggled with last year, I reflected on those over the summer and now I'm going to have a much better year this year. I pretty much just finished my makeup. I'm just gonna do my brows and then I will show you my outfit and head out the door. All right, I am all ready to go now. Here is the finished look. Just wearing this jumpsuit from Target. I've had this for lots of years and it has pockets. I'm wearing a jean jacket over it because there's no sleeves. And then I have on these platform sandals and I am all ready to go. And then I will film when I get to school. Okay, I just got here. The first thing I do is turn on my lighting. I've never used the overhead lights. I remember one day I had a substitute last year and they had to use, of course, the overhead lights and the kids were not happy, but that is what it is. Okay, so I did my string lights and then I'm gonna do my other lamps. Turn on my board that just basically says, come in, get ready for connections, read a book. The kids are coming in about 10 minutes, so I will talk to you when I have my break. The kids are in connections now, so this is my planning period. The kids are testing today, so when the kids test, I pretty much can just sit back and do my own work. So my planning period right now, I'm not really stressed. I don't have a long to-do list because I have all day to get work done. So right now, I'm doing kind of more boring stuff. Again, I want to show you what it looks like at the start of the year. Um, so basically, on the first day, we sent home probably like 10 different papers to be signed. And it's been a hassle to organize it all and to even get all the paperwork back. Students are still missing paperwork. So I just went up to the front and I got some extra copies. There is this one specific form that the office needs 100% participation with and six or seven people did not turn it in to me. So I'm sending it home again. Um, the stuff I do have, I already have organized. I have manila folders with my name on it for when I turn it in, Smith. And then I have like what the form is, but I'm still waiting on some of the forms. So I can't turn in this paperwork yet, but I did organize what I have. So that's boring, but necessary. Um, so I'm gonna contact parents now and send the paperwork back home with the student when they come back to my class from Connections. The kids will be back real soon. So I am updating the slide so I can put it on the big screen. They're finishing testing today because they actually started yesterday. So some of them are almost done or at least halfway. So they should finish today. And then when they're done, I do need them to do something for ELA, nothing hard. Um, but we did do a pretest on Friday just to see what they know so far, just for ELA, not a school thing, not an administration thing. And that was done on paper because we did not have computers. But since they have computers to test, when they're done testing, I do need them to put their answers online so that way they can get their grade. Um, we can see the standard breakdown, kind of see what standards they struggle with, all of that, because we need that data for ELA. 
um, and that drives my instruction. So when they're done testing, then they do need to go to the School City test website and put in the answers. That's like a five minute thing because they already took this test. So I am gonna hand back their paper copy and that um, will be a quick thing. Once they're done with iReady testing, it'll give them practice questions and stuff. So they will start working on their practice questions and pretty much independent computer day. Hey guys, so quick update. It's lunch now and I have had a very productive day. I made a key for a quiz that's going to be on Friday. It's a parts of speech quiz. And again, with the computer situation, um, most quizzes and stuff have to be on paper. Of course, I have the computers today for testing, but I won't have them after today. So I finished the parts of speech quiz and finished the key. I also cut out these papers that go on their locker. The goal is to read 25 books. It's a school goal. So this will go on their locker and basically they're going to keep track of how many books they read each month. I got those all cut out. They were all laminated in one long sheet um, and I planned a little bit more as well. So I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I still have the rest of this class and then two more classes. So I'm going to get even more stuff done and at the end of the day, I'll reflect on the whole day and show you anything else that I get done. Hey guys, so I'm home now as you can see. I just took off my makeup and I'm about to jump in the shower but I did not film anything else at work because I don't like to film the kids of course. So my only time to film is really during my planning period and then lunch. Um, so I did that and then if you remember last year I would film after school because typically I would stay after school for an hour or even two hours and get work done. But I already told you this morning, I am not stressing myself out this year. So I now leave with all the rest of the teachers at 345 when our contract hours end. So I had nothing else to film. When the last students left, then the teachers were able to leave. I've been leaving on time and I plan to keep that up unless I have to stay for like detention or something. Um, but it was a really good day, kind of boring. I just sat in the back. I did try to film a short clip of me sitting in the back of the room doing my own work on the computer while the kids did their work on the computer. It was quiet. Um, it was productive. I got a lot of little things done. Like I said, some of that boring paperwork stuff and I had to cut out those orange papers. I did have some students help with that too. Um, and then I just continued to plan and look over uh, my plans for next week and stuff like that but it was good day quiet but i am looking forward to not having the kids stuck in a computer all day um tomorrow we will go back to what we have been working on i think we are all ready to get back to normal but that was a typical day in my life i'm home now so i'm probably gonna end this video here if you want to see a separate after school routine please comment down below i've done one before but i'm sure some things are different between last year and this year also make sure you like share and definitely subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye guys